Informatics is one of those words when you first see it, you just kind of, you know, what is what does that mean? Using technology to solve people's problems. It's how people deal with people, with computers as sort of a medium for communicating. Problem solving with a specific field such as business, um, the arts, uh, computer science even. The two word version is computing stuff. And that's what it really is. You know, you throw the word computing in there and everything that revolves around computing. And that's really what the school is about. Uh, from my perspective, I look at it the mirroring of computer technology with some other discipline. So in business, how do we effectively use technology in business? How are our systems make us more efficient? How do we compete by using systems? It's this triangulation of information and people and technology. It's not just for the people that want to sit on the computer all day. It's more than that. It's so much more than that. It's getting involved with different technologies. Technology is everywhere nowadays. You can't get away from it. So informatics is going to be that bridge between the technology and whatever, arts, sciences, business, you name it, you can put it together. So it's really just an open, broad major that you can specialize in whatever you're interested in and that you love. You learn the technology, but then you combine it with something else. So I could do what I'm good at, which is technology, but then combine it with something that I'm interested in, such as business. It's a more personal basis for what you want to do. Um, it, you can really sculpt it. When I saw the Cognit list, I was like biology, chemistry. I mean, I thought that those were in a different world. It's like, that's actually really cool that an English major and a technology major can coincide and be the same person. It's not just your average tech job. 